We're out of tractor beam now. Should be able to cruise on our own power. Fire them up. Mm hmm. That sounds like they're running real smooth. That's good. Some station mechs can be a little slapdash with their repairs, but uh, that sounds good as new. Yeah, they did good work loading us up with cargo, too. Got the job done quickly. We'll definitely have to trade here again in the future. It went a lot smoother than I'm used to. Uh, do you want to do the honours of taxiing us out of the bay? Yeah, it can be tricky in such a tight area, but um, I trust you. You've navigated through meteor showers in the past. That's much harder than this. Go for it. Mm-hmm. Easy as she goes. No need to twitch, just guide her gently through. Excellent. Ah, <sighs> well done. Oh, hold it there a moment. Gotta wait for the green light at this gate. <clears throat> And, <laughs> yep, you got it. Away we go. Wonderful. We're clearing the docking bay. You can relax. Autopilot should be able to do it from here. Nice work. Have you been practicing in VR without me? <laughs> I knew it. That was way too smooth for your first time navigating a dock like that. I'm glad you took the initiative. Okay. We can settle into a bit of a cruise now. I don't see anything on the scanner that alarms me. You want to check on your side for me, too? Thanks. All clear? Good. Excellent. Ready to warp, then? You remember how to do it? It couldn't be simpler. If we were going somewhere for the first time, you'd have to ask them for coordinates and program them in manually, and that can take a while when you're talking about the entire galaxy. Luckily, we're only going to the next station along, and we've been there plenty of times. At least, I have. I think you were there with me last time we went. Yeah, you remember the one with those squid people? <laughs> I got into a fight with one who'd just finished working at the unobtainium mine for the day. Those tentacles were fucking killer. I didn't stand a chance. <laughs> right, that was the one. You snuck behind them while they were facing me and tied two of their tentacles in a knot. That was pretty good thinking. <laughs> I would have got away with far worse injuries if you hadn't done that. Oh nah, I'm not worried. I'd be surprised if that particular squid was a regular. I don't think we need to be concerned about bumping into them again. Besides, even if we do, I doubt they'd recognize us. I'm told that humans all look the same to other spacefaring cultures. <laughs> ah, just um, adjust that course a couple of degrees there. There's a gargantuan freighter coming in much easier for us to adjust than it is for them and they know it. In fact, better take off autopilot when we navigate around him. Oh god, no. I am never to be a gargler. Oh, uh, that's a pilot of a gargantuan freighter. Look, I didn't come up with a name. Okay. I'm surprised you've never heard it before, but I guess they don't teach that in pilot academy. But yeah, uh, piloting a garg is possibly the most boring freight work you can get. I mean, look at the size of the thing. Mm -hmm. They're practically moving stations, and that means they're slow as fuck, and really hard to manoeuvre, and worst of all, they do the longest journeys. Sometimes they take months, going one end of the galaxy to the other, and those things don't get that much faster than light, even at maximum. It's horrific. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how gargoyles don't all lose their minds. I know I would. And yes, when you're near one like that, it's best just to steer clear around it. You don't want to play chicken with a ship that takes half a day to turn 180 degrees. There you go. Just go over top of him or something. <laughs> yes, I see you, mate. Little wave. Ah, that's what keeps you going. That and coffee. Of course, you want a coffee? I want a coffee. Oh, no, 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 no. You stay there. Uh, you keep on piloting. You're doing a good job. I'll get it for you. Milk and no sugar, right? Yes. Love making coffee for someone who takes it the same way I do. Just makes things easier. I can switch my brain off. <laughs> hey, fuck you. My brain is not off all the time. 
There are at least two or three brain cells functioning usually. Sometimes they even work together and I have a whole thought. Not sure if you've seen that happening or not, but it does happen, I swear. <laughs> there you go. I might have over-milked it a bit, sorry. Bovarax milk is a lot richer than regular cow milk. It's hard to judge how much to put in. It steams really well, though, for a latte or something. <laughs> Alright, yes, we're gonna warp. Okay, well, now we're clear of that garg, that should be fine. You find the station in the list. Uh, yep, that's the one. Lower the shutters. Good. Don't want to be staring into a warp hole. Your retinas wouldn't thank you for that. Now press the big green button. Yeah, I know. It'd be cooler if it were red. But red means stop. It'd be confusing. There is a big red button over there, but uh, please don't press it. It's the self-destruct. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Don't press it. Um, anyway, press the green one. Oof. Well, I actually felt that one. That's not so good. <laughs> no, not at all. Maybe back in 3050 you'd feel the jump to light speed, or perhaps in the little training dinghies they have in Pilot Academy, but uh, that was a hundred years ago. You shouldn't feel it at all in a ship like this. <laughs> Might need to get the stabilizers looked at. But ah, uh, that wasn't so bad. It can wait a bit. I don't feel like paying for any more maintenance right now. That stomp was expensive enough. Now, um, oh, let me see. Hey now, don't make fun of me for still keeping notes on paper. This comes from experience. It's all very well keeping everything in the data banks, but you only need to experience one day of malfunction to realize how useful it is to have a paper backup. I suppose in my case, the backup is all there is, but hey, you get the picture. Hmm. Hey, it's bloody hard to find a decent notebook these days though. Luckily, I managed to find a guy who was trying to offload a whole container full of moleskins. Been using them for years. Right. Yep, um, should only be a three minute warp before we're in the slow zone of the next station. Keep an eye on the boost levels. Three minutes should be fine, but uh, the motivator was a bit finicky last time. Ah, uh, yeah, it was making a bit of a whining noise I didn't like so much. I don't hear it now, but keep an ear out anyway, just in case. Hey now, don't talk about my ship like that. She's a bit of a clunker, sure, but me and her have been working together for decades. We have a mutual understanding, I think, and she's never let me down when it really matters. <laughs> yeah, uh, you can come back to me and criticize my ship when you've been flying with your own for 30 years. See how it feels then. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I'm only joking around with you. I don't take it that seriously, although, I do love my ship. Uh, hold on. What's that? You see anything on the readout? Boost level's all good still? Uh. Ah, uh, fuck. What does that sound mean? Hold on. Um. Where's the fucking manual? No, there are like 2,000 different alert sounds this thing can make. How can I possibly memorize them all? I don't know why they don't just put a voice recording in it or something. Uh, just give me a. Oh, fuck. Why are we coming out of warp? Did you press something? The booster shot through the floor. We're nowhere near the station yet. We can't be. Ugh, let me check the graphs. Hold on. Um, how long until we're below light speed? Should be on that display. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, fuck. Uh, that is not very long. Uh, I don't know. There's not much about this sector that I can find. There could be anything in this stretch. No, it's a trade route. You don't just stop halfway down a trade route. They're mostly uncharted. Coming out of warp in uncharted territory is a bad idea. Oh, just think. What does being in warp allow us to do? Uh, fuck no. Sorry. Sorry. I shouldn't snap. It's just... Yes, exactly. At faster than light speeds, you can skip past gravity wells from black holes, for example without having to worry about it too much as long as you don't go straight into it. Yeah, 
and the course we plotted expects us to be FTL. But if we drop out of warp halfway through the course, standard boosters are probably not going to be enough to get us out of a well if there is one. <sighs> How much longer? <sighs> that answers that. No more boost. No more warp drive. And we are slower than light in uncharted territory. This could be bad. Um, let's raise the shutters. Do it slowly. We could be right next to a star or something. Fuck knows. <laughs> oh. Holy shit. <laughs> well, we can be sure we're not near a star. Fucking look at that. Yeah, that's a nice planet. Those spires. The fucking lakes frozen over. Fuck. I haven't seen anything like this for years. Wow. <laughs> well, at least it's not dangerous. Hold on. Uh, let me... Uh, there. I've uh, turned on the heat shield. Chances are, any little asteroids around here are going to be mainly made of ice. A heat shield will melt them before they touch the ship. It's more energy efficient than us moving out of the way, or moving the asteroids out of the way with a tractor beam. Hmm. Let me figure something out. Hold on. Mm. Okay, right. Yeah, carry the wall. Um, yeah, okay. I mean, it's my fairly shitty maths, so this could be completely wrong. Uh, but I reckon it'll take a week or so for us to reach the next station without warp. <sighs> yeah, I know that sounds like a long time, but don't worry. We do have more than enough on board to survive that long if we need to. Um, but I'm going to put out a distress call, just in case. <clears throat> uh, pass me the mic, I'll record it and put it on loop. Let's see. Um, forgive me, I'm going to sound all official. <laughs> mayday, mayday, mayday. This is the captain of the Insel Indian Miracle, registration PHA5M1D. Currently stranded on course... Oh, fuck, what's the ID? What's the course ID? Uh, SSU2W2C on our way to the Atsanian mining station. Any other pilots willing to tow, please respond. We are on boosters, but unable to warp. Mayday, mayday, mayday. That should do the trick. I hate doing that kind of stuff. <sighs> Maybe I should have started again when I forgot the course ID, but whatever. I didn't want to say mayday, mayday, mayday again. <laughs> yes, I did just do it again. You're right. Very smart of you. Welp, we're going to be looking at that ice planet for a while. Might as well settle in for the long haul. Hmm. It is beautiful, isn't it? I mean, there are much worse places we could have gotten stranded. Worse people to be stranded with, too. <laughs> yeah, you're great. But honestly, by comparison to my last co-pilot, anyone would be. Well, everybody who knew him called him Stinky Pete. I think it was a reference to something from, like, a thousand years ago, I don't remember. There's really no subtlety there, though, it's for exactly the reason you'd expect. And with the cabin on this ship being as small as it is, there was nowhere to go to get away from it. You would really don't want a smelly co-pilot on a ship like this. Anyway, what I'm getting at is, I'm glad you're here. You're, uh, turning out to be a really great co-pilot, especially considering how new you are to all this. Yeah, normally newbies from the agency are more of a pain in the ass than anything. But you're really something else. I know it's maybe kind of weird to toast with a coffee, but what the hell. To a long, happy partnership. 